hello guys i will be working on iphone x today uh, it was sent to us that uh, it was liquid damage they have done an ultrasonic clean but still the touch is not working and so this is the phone here see no touch and uh, definitely they have tried with the new screen as well so let's take the board out and see what's wrong with it let's do a physical examination it doesn't look like to me it's been too ultrasonic i don't think so anyway we will remove this uh, plastic thing and uh, see if we can find anything it looks like it was removed and it they put it back because it's coming out quite easily okay anything i can find here and this is where the touch ic controller ic is nothing I can find unusual so we couldn't find any visual uh, evidence on the touch connector so otherwise phone is turning on fine so the next thing I would like to do is to check um, where is it where is it um, J5800 which is touch connectors I would like to check the power on especially 10 volt line 1.8 and 3.5 line so let's come back here mm, yep I think you can see here let's check it okay what we get here let me adjust a little bit of microscope here I think you can see yeah. okay let's see what we are getting at oh sorry So let's see so that is 10 volt line and we are not even getting nothing here and this is uh, we have got 1.8 line as you can see on the on the screen and the next thing is let me check one we have got 1.8 line and then 1.1 yep we have got and the next one is 3.3 line so so we do not have 10 volt line and 3.5 line so let's check what we have got on So this one is PP10VO racer connection. So this is pointing towards where? Let's make it smaller. And this is pointing towards U5100, uh, sorry, U5600, which is touch IC. And the next one, what we do not have any volts on. 3.5 we have got 1.8 we have got 1.1 and we do not have 3.5 3.5 is 
indicating where again yep u5600 so it looks like we have to replace u60 u5600 so let's do it so i'm just halfway removing this metal plate of wow okay and let's see what we got here this phone looks like has gone pink i'll show you here oh where's microscope stops working so i will set it up again there you go so now here we have found this pink color what is it man see it's like sort of looks like sort of flux uh, no idea so anyway this is u5600 this is what the touch ic is and this is where those uh, 10 volt line and 3.5 line are being generated so what i would like to do is to replace this touch ic and see how it goes i have never seen that sort of pink thing before on any phone maybe that is what they said that might be the ultrasonic lane but uh, these iphone x and above i don't recommend honestly to do ultrasonic clean because uh, these are double layered <coughs> boards so whatever chemical you are using that will go into the layer where you and it can it will stay there it won't evaporate so single layer board is okay to ultrasonic clean but uh, this sort of board ultrasonic clean the liquid will go inside and it, it it won't come out so if you have to do ultrasonic clean i think you have to separate the board and then clean it and then put it back together so it looks like u5600 touch ic is the problem on this one but you will never know come on man come out it should come out now it won't even budge Should I put the temperature a little bit higher? I don't want to go any more higher than this which is 440 because I don't want it to go down to the bottom layer where the solder spoils are connecting each other but I think I have to go a little bit higher. and put some more flux yeah underneath the ic it looks clean don't see any sort of liquid damage so i will just give it a clean now so after cleaning this is how it looks which is uh, sort of acceptable for me and we have got new u5600 
Touch icy. That's enough and it will go like this. Okay. Can you see? Ah, that light is better like this. Let's adjust it for you. Yep, that's better. Okay, we will try to hold it on its right place as close as we can. Yep, here. what it is jumping into man come on hold it here uh oh i think one capstar i will just check it in a minute maybe this has gone down which i can see here just wait a minute yes i was right there is something underneath which is this has moved and went underneath that U5600 and that's good I just realize it otherwise okay then the heat will drop it down anyways let's start again now yep now it feels like it's sitting right I would like to just push it a little bit down because I don't want to, this to blow away when I'm... Oh, come on, man. Don't make my life difficult. Yep. Yeah, that's enough. Let's try again. Let's see how my hands are today. Sometimes they are pretty stable, sometimes <laughs> shakes. Uh, looks okay here. Let's drop it down now. Don't burn my hand, it's a little bit closer. Okay, that should be just enough. Leave it here. Okay. I gave it a little bit um, isopropyl filling so that, that um, we can get rid of that pink thing. I don't know what was it. Let's try if we can get the touch working. Okay. Is it still hot? The coin? No, it's not. So let's put it here. Uh, should we check the 10 volt line or 3.5 volt line first? No, don't want to waste time. And we will just put the screen if it's not working. We will check what else it might be. So, hopefully, it should work because the both of those 3.5 and 10 volt line they was 
I'm going to U5600. If not, then we will see. Then most probably I will <coughs> separate the board. But sometimes I'm lucky. Lucky in a means that I can find the fault. And what I assume where the fault is, it's what I thought. And sometimes um, it's something else. <coughs> Yeah. And uh, guys, we are in New Zealand and um, we also offer Logic Board, MacBook, iPhone, practical repair courses if you own a shop. And I think uh, you should get these skills. So let's see. Yep. So, work fine. All good. So guys, that was iPhone X uh, Touch ICU 5600 replacement video. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much. Bye.